Hello everybody. It's me. Hi. It's a video on Tiffany's again because the last video I did, I don't think I did a very good job. I really tried to and I really thought through it, but I don't know that I was clear on some things. So this is a Tiffany collection, a bit of a review, and just want to talk to you about a couple of things concerning Tiffany. So bear with me, okay? What I have is a very small, very personal, very important collection of Tiffany's. It's all in sterling silver. What I had not explained well in the last video was that one of the things that I absolutely love, I would see people wear different uh, pieces from jewelry items from Tiffany's and I really, really admired them. So one day I said, I'm going to do this. Well, I don't live near Tiffany, so I ordered uh, a, a piece. And I'm going to have this modeled in just a minute. But it was the oval, it's Return to Tiffany oval bracelet. I want to say toggle. It's not a toggle. It's a lobster claw on it. Well, I really liked it. And uh, when I got it, what, I, what made me come back for more Tiffany pieces was the quality. The packaging is superb, even when you get it, when you get it in the mail, even. And it's just excellent. The next time I bought more for Tiffany's, because I actually got to go into a store, and the service I received was amazing. Everybody you talked to was very kind, very patient with my questions. Um, and were experts. I mean, you could tell they're very well trained. They know about all all the items and they can explain things and, and they take their time. Well, I have mentioned in another video also that I had gone to, uh, on a trip with my daughter and we went to the Galleria in Dallas. And I met a gentleman, his name is Caesar, and he was fabulous with me. I initially went in with one of my bracelets. And let me go ahead and show you. These are all of my Tiffany chunky chainy bracelets together. And I don't always wear them like this, but I think this is just one way you can wear them. Well, I had a gift from this round item. And it's also returned to Tiffany's. And it has that little engraving there. I'm hoping you can see. And I wasn't sure if it were real or not. I was just curious. Well, he told me it was, so I was very excited. And he cleaned some pieces for me, and I had questions. And the thing with this is so ironic that I'm doing a video on jewelry is because I don't feel I'm at all an expert on how to put things together. But that's the third reason I really like Tiffany's because it doesn't matter. Everything goes with everything. It's beautiful. You can put them together or you can leave them by themselves. And what Caesar did for me was he showed me ways to put things together. And I want to show you the example I have here. This is my all-time favorite. This is a trayful key. I have three keys. Three is my favorite number, so naturally this is going to be my favorite. This is on a cord. It's 18 inches long. And what he helped me with was this really nice little lock. It has a little detachable thing here. So you can, well, it won't, it won't do that for me at the moment. But I'll show you how it does open. He showed me a unique way to tie the chain inside so it will lay flat when you wear it. I wear it a lot by itself. Right now I'm showing you with the key or I can just wear the key by itself. So I like that a lot. I have another key and I have way someone way better looking than me, so you're in for a treat. This is my daughter and she is going to model for us and I think they can see it. Take one step back. This is the crown uh, Tiffany key and this is on an 18 inch and so I think that looks great just by itself. And so she is showing you um, what that looks like. Also she has on the bead earrings, they're the black onyx and they are the 10 millimeter and what I can tell you about that is that I, it is the most I love that size the most you can dress it up or down but it is a classy look and it's and it's the most and then she's wearing the bracelet um, that has the toggle and I love the toggles and this is great the other thing about these pieces it works for all ages so if you know if somebody has a hard time putting jewelry on this is what uh, you want to get the toggle I have no problem with it staying on it just looks great and she's just uh, wearing a simple black shirt I think it looks really good and so I'm gonna have her step over here now because I want to go back and show you these bracelets and uh, show you how these work this one is the pretty pricey one and actually I'm going to need her assistance because I can do this but never under pressure. Thank you sweetie. This is the the link bracelet and I had it on all by itself but each one opens up. 
So you could wear it by itself, but you could wear it with charms. I don't have any Tiffany charms, and that's a shame because the charms are just beautiful. I'm in love with the enamel blue present because it's just uh, such an eye catcher. But I'm showing you with another charm. I put that on, and I can show off one charm, or I can put charms all the way around. And it's just so easy to do. I mean, if I'm doing it, I am not, you know, coordinated. But you just press it in and it slips on. So a lot of times I will wear this one by itself. Or when I get a whole bunch, I might wear it on my left hand with my watch. And that's always, so I wanted to go over that in a little bit more better detail. And then I wanted to show you this piece. This is that oval. And... I'm going to have my daughter uh, model the necklace, but I don't know what I did with it. Here it is. It's right in front of me. Heaven forbid. So she's going to come here for me. This is a 15 and a half inch <laughs> necklace. <laughs> she's so sweet to help me with this. And so I'm going to, this is it with the necklace, with the key rather, and I like it, but I think it looks best all by itself. And this is my runner here. And every track meet I go to, I have that on upside down. And it does connect here. So let me try to actually show you the correct way. My bad. And oh, actually, a uh, true Tiffany's, you always, when you put the lobster, the lobster claw, and it's always facing down anyway. I should have caught that. But. That's going to look a little better, I bet. But I love this when you wear just a simple t-shirt or something. That looks great. I like to wear it all by itself and just the one bracelet that matches it. I had a hard time with the earring, so now I'm going to come back in the video. This is so crazy. But I like the beads here. This is the 10-inch uh, beads, 10-millimeter uh, beads. And I like it, again, like I explained, with the black onyx. It just it looks prettier. It's classier. And so when I wore the oval, I found I wanted earrings to go with it, and I went with uh, the beads because I, I thought it had enough sayings of return to uh, Tiffany's on there. Then <clears throat> I wanted to model um, just this toggle bracelet. It's the heart. It has the, I had placed on here the blue enamel return to Tiffany's and I'm hoping that does show on the video. I'm so sorry if it doesn't. Usually you'll have nothing on the, the charm or you'll have it in silver and it says please return to Tiffany and Company, New York. And then it has a number 925 and my understanding is that number needs to be on everything that's a sterling silver piece. And so I usually wear this just by itself and then I will wear it with this 16 inch matching necklace and I wasn't able to get them at the same time but you know a safe form and that, that was another thing used to I was really into quantity I wanted to have a lot is that on right I can't tell and then I decided I'd rather have fewer pieces but pieces I really love so yes these these items can be a little bit pricey but uh, I've saved up for them, or people have been very generous. I've got them as gifts, and I find that I hang on to them, and these are my go-to pieces. So this is what the 16-inch toggle looks like. And I was going to lastly show you, and let me take this off, and I have one more to show you. And that is the necklace and bracelet, and I'm going to have my daughter. This is the one I mentioned on the other video. I can't do this one by myself on here, so I always have to elicit help. And so what she's doing is she's putting on, it's a lobster claw again, she's putting on the beaded bracelet. Again, it's the 10 millimeter. It's my personal favorite. And a lot of times I'll just wear um, a skirt and a simple top, and I'll just have these earrings and the bracelet on. <clears throat> And then I'll put on the beaded necklace. And it, for a while, the beaded necklace was not one of my favorite pieces. Thank you. Um, but she's going to help me with this one, too. Sorry. <laughs> she's quicker than me. So um, this is a 16-inch also. And I wanted um, to show you because, to me, this is the dressiest piece I have of the Tiffany's. And I like it a lot. Okay. That's what this looks like. I told you it was the last one, but I did remember. I did want to model one more thing. I'm going to have her do this. Can you go ahead and take your break? That went off the oval. And then I'm going to show you what the 16-inch 
chain looks like with one of these keys. I, I showed, she modeled the crown, the tray fold. I wanted to see what this is. Come here, I'll, I'll get it. We'll, we'll trade. Here we go. And now she is going to come back over here. <laughs> as I strangle her. And this is what a 16 inch chain looks like. Okay. And so I'm just going to hold it here. And she's going to back up just in case I haven't shown her. And I like the way that lays. That's usually the best. And the last thing I want to talk about, again, Caesar, who was so incredibly helpful, he said, you know, you really can layer this with so many things. And what you would do is you'd have a 16 inch and maybe, go ahead and hold this in the back because I didn't do a very good job putting that on. And then this is a key. It's a black onyx key and it looks great with her little earrings that she has on. And this is my fault. I should have just taken the time to put it on. But, you know, this is what it, I don't know if you can see that on there. But just having different layers of the, of the different items look really nice. And they don't have to be the keys. And that's what I like about this. And he also says you can mix and match your gold and your silver, which I think looks fantastic also. I just don't have the gold pieces. That's something yet to come. So, anyway, I'm going to grab this because I hadn't connected that fourth thing. Okay, anyway, this is my daughter, Lindy, and I appreciate her help, and this is us, poor thing. Mm -hmm. She's going to look like me someday, but maybe she looks good now, anyway. Um, thank you. I hope this does help a little bit more if you're making decisions on your things. The main thing is that it is a little bit pricey, but you get the quality. Oh, and when you go in and you have somebody like Caesar waiting on you, you get this, um, you almost, I hate to say it, but it was almost a bond created because he takes the time to show you and 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 you just get this relationship and and you realize these the individual pieces just have grown on me and mean so much to me and it's worth it to take the time to go into the store and visit with the clientele there because they are the employees there rather because they uh, are extremely professional and gracious and I've never had a bad experience on the few times I've gotten to go in to Tiffany so Hey, we're for Tiffany's. You're going to love the blue bag. You're going to love even more the little pouch. This is suede, and they're just they're wonderful to keep your pieces in. And it's better than any replica you can get. You can feel the difference even from the packaging if you ever got a replica. It's worth saving your money for to get this. So, okay, go see Caesar Gallery in Dallas. You won't be sorry. Thank you for your time.